Lyra's here. She's going to help with the new cast. Oh gosh, she's so squirmy. Ah! Hi guys, it's that time of year yet again where everyone's thinking about making the applications to university. Some of you may already have started or have already completed your application, but I just wanted to give you my personal advice to make your application as appealing as possible to the university that you wish to go to. Now, I'm talking very much from a Cambridge point of view because I am talking from personal experience. So I do hope it's helpful to everyone, but I'm just gonna give you some insider knowledge that I've picked up along the way. So some of my friends are actually admissions tutors at some of the colleges in Cambridge. And what that means is they sift through all your applications and work out who they're going to interview and who is standing a very high chance of getting a place even before they've turned up for interview. And what they look at obviously is your grades and they'll look at also your personal statement. And this video is really about how to make your personal statement as good as possible. The first thing they told me is not to keep talking about your academic excellence in your personal statement. Remember, you've only got 4,000 characters to write and that includes spaces. It's not a lot of space. So do make sure you're not talking too much about your academic excellence. The reason being, and I know you'll be very proud of your excellent grades, is they can see that from your results, from your GCSEs. You don't need to go, I'm an incredible scholar, because they can see it from your full set of A stars or nines or whatever it is you are applying with. So don't talk and waste too much of your personal statement doing that. Another point to add is some schools have some pretty dodgy head of sixth form who don't give very good advice when it comes to personal statements. One very good school in London I heard, of, I'm not going to name it here, but apparently everyone submitted their personal statement talking about how they've been helping build a school in Africa. Now that's all very well and good, but it does look really suspicious if everyone is writing the same thing. And also the personal statement is about how you're suited for the particular course you're applying for. So to talk endlessly about you building a school in Africa, although it obviously makes you look really charitable, which is great, do mention it, spend half a line mentioning that you've actually done this. It's nothing to do with whether you're going to go study English literature or science, physics, for example. Unless you're doing architecture, it doesn't really have that much to do with the course you're applying for. So do be careful to not talk too endlessly about things unrelated to your course. So to that end, your personal statement should be about why you would be good for the course you are applying for, why they should pick you, why they should offer you that place. And in order to actually direct your personal statement along these lines, have a look at the course description online or in the prospectus. What is it they're after? They'll write it in the course description. They'll say we're after individuals who are enthusiastic, who are logical, who are this, that. Make sure your personal statement links to the requirements. So if they're after good team leaders, give an example of when you show great leadership skills. If they're after logical thinking, give an example of a time when you sort of logically to get out of a sticky situation, for example. And in that way, you'll really make yourself stand out. The really obvious things to point out here is make sure that you're submitting a personal statement that has absolutely perfect spelling, punctuation, grammar, etc. At Cambridge, they're very fussy. They'll chuck your application straight out the door if you've got any kinds of issues with that. Don't confuse your there and theirs. Um, don't spell definitely wrong, your and yours. I've made a separate video about how I feel very strongly about using correct spelling and punctuation. Do make sure that someone's checked it and don't let any typos slip through the net either. Be really concise with your writing, don't repeat yourself, don't use um, colloquial language like like and basically, even though you might speak like that, they don't want that. They want very perfect English, they want you to use a wide vocabulary and use your words carefully. Another thing to add, which is, is kind of sticky considering this is a YouTube channel, but be very aware that a lot of people reading these applications and this again is very true for Cambridge, are quite a lot older. Cambridge is full of pretty old professor dons. Generally speaking, professors at Cambridge have no notion of what Instagram is, what Snapchat is. They don't give a damn how many followers you have on either YouTube, Instagram or anything. So try not to, even if you've got a really successful YouTube channel, and obviously that's amazing, but you've got to see it from their point of view. So don't spend too long talking about what you've achieved from that point of view, because honestly, they won't care. And that sounds awful, but it's true. You need to link it to academia, because at the end of the day, that's what you're going off to that you need to study. Okay, that's everything I have to say. Let me know if you want me to make a video about the interview process or anything else relating to university applications or how you pick the course you're going to study. And yeah, I hope you found this video helpful, guys, and I'll be back soon. Take care.